welcome back YouTube this is me Neville in this new video what we are gonna look at is the same issue fix Microsoft Office Bootstrap error and this method is more effective so please do watch this video and if you have tried my previous videos and it didn't work for you sure this would work for you so please do subscribe like and stay tuned so let's begin so first of all what you had to do is some few simple steps so I have prepared a notepad for you so here is it so follow the simple steps so let's get started so first of all what you have to do is open up C drive in your my computer go down so this is the C drive open it up then you need to go to program file so it's right here then go into Microsoft Office and delete these two files or better you delete this whole file from here so after that what you have to do is go to C again the C drive again then you need to go to common files in program files itself so here is the common files and in here delete the file named Microsoft shared open it up uh, sorry open up the Microsoft shared folder then delete these three files so you delete all these three files directly then what you have to do is go to C folder again and go to program data so this is program data and in here you need to go down to Microsoft again so Microsoft yeah it's right here open up Microsoft then delete this office folder so I have done this in my previous videos and you need to combine all these steps in order to fix the issue permanently then the next step is simple enough go to C folder again then you need to go to Windows folder then system 32 so here system 32 then here you need to go to SAP so that folder will be right here so SPP open it up then you need to go to store store then 2.0 then here is the token that file so what you had to do is rename and rename the tokens that file to token that dot old so what you had to do is add dot old right here then after doing this you need to delete some registry files for that you need to go to run so here is one and write and type in rigid click OK so rigid comes up and you need to go to all these links so I'll show you one by one you need to go to first of all hey local machine then softwares you need to open up with the small arrow softwares then Microsoft then you need to go to office so you need to go to OFIC so go down so where is OFIC so here is office you need to go to office and delete that file first of all then again go to hey current user so open up hey current user with a small arrow then go to softwares click the softwares button again then search for Microsoft so mm -mm. so you need to go to Microsoft so Microsoft would be somewhere here so let me yeah here is Microsoft then you need to go to office file again so office office Mm -mm -mm. yes the office file delete this file too then you need to go to hey local machine software again so hey local machine software then software here right here then go to Microsoft Microsoft and then you need to go to Windows N WSNT so here Windows NT is opened then you need to go to current version then in there you need to go to app comeback flags and delete this app comeback flags too so before doing this you can export these files in case your system is having some problem you can restore these files so do that before 
and so this would solve out your issue and thanks for watching my video and before doing all these you need to check out that you don't have any installed version of office file so in my case I felt the same issue and I did it and I have all my office file right here so you can see all these so follow the simple steps and you can do this so uninstall any previous version of word or powerpoint or any office file then follow my steps before and that's it so stay tuned for new videos it's me Neville signing off from Ask Your Questions